happened in the cold. Police say a mother left her little daughter in the car while she went shopping. Other shoppers spotted the little girl in the parking lot and called 911. It happened at the Sam's Club on North Line near I-75 in Southgate. That's where 7 Action News reporter Kim Craig spoke with the woman who made the call. Yes, Heather and Dave, a lot of people could not believe a baby was alone in a vehicle out here, and you can only imagine what kind of excuse that mother gave police. Unbelievable. I never in my life thought I'd ever witness this. Southgate police arrived quickly to work on getting into the car where a baby had been left all alone. They were responding to Maureen Marlowe's 911 call after she and her friend had just parked and couldn't believe their eyes. The minute we pulled into the parking spot, we both looked at each other and said, oh my God, is that baby alone? That's when Maureen's friend Tammy Spiker got closer to make sure what they thought was a baby wasn't a toy. Once she found out she was real and no one was there, I called 911. A couple other shoppers, including Caitlin Wolski, began to take video and spotted the mother being escorted out of the Sam's Club by a police officer. When she was first walking out, she was walking out with the police officer and we knew that it was her at that point. I said, how could you do that? How could you forget your baby? And uh, her response was, I didn't forget her, she was sleeping. Southgate police talked to the baby's mother for a short time before placing her in handcuffs. She started crying when she was being arrested. Thank you, Southgate Police. Everyone also thankful Maureen and her friend Tammy spotted the baby when they did. True heroes right there. Listen, we're not all perfect parents out here, but you have to put your child first. How could someone do that? Why would someone do that? It doesn't matter winter, summer. I mean, she was the baby was sleeping, but if the baby's sleeping and you don't want to wake her up, go home. And we could find out as early as tomorrow what charges the mother of that baby may face. Reporting live in Southgate, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Kim. The big